All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Heat one, Scott Duncan and Adam Clark have the front row. David Lux and Dave Holmberg on the second row. Andrew Jones, Ryan McDaniel has the third row. Austin Minute, Brian Hewitt on the fourth, and Cody Kennedy rounds out heat number one. Just waiting on the last couple of drivers to take to the grid here. And it does not look like Scott Duncan will take the grid tonight. That's a big surprise. Scott was the fastest car in practice. A lot of the drivers said push the car too hard. It goes out to the wall. It's got a big push to it. But on corner entry, the car does have a tendency to get loose. As we mentioned, the shopping cart wheels on this car do not provide a ton of grip. Hey, good evening, Thanos. Jason, haven't seen Dean Webb yet tonight. Pace car is in. Here we go. Out of four. Green flag is in the air. The first heat of the new season is underway. Remember, these cars only have about 200 horsepower. They're already three wide. Wow, some gutsy moves here in the early going have allowed David Lux to get out front. Adam Clark in second. Andrew Jones in third. Ryan still up the middle and making moves forward. They are three wide back behind. Lux is checking out. Austin Minute side by side with Cody Kennedy at the moment. David Lux has opened up a one second lead out front. Ryan Hewitt shoots down to the bottom. He's going to try and make a move. Ryan gets underneath. They are banging and sliding. They save it. No, they don't. David Lux's lead still holds. Cody Kennedy now battles for second with Minute Holmberg back and forth trying to close in. David holds a one second lead with three laps to go. Still a hard battle for second place. Inches apart through three and four with two to go. <laughs> Good evening, Kevin. Lux comes through three and four this time. White flag is in the air one more time around. Cody Kennedy still battling for second with Austin Minute side by side. It will give David Lux. 
blocks the win. Cody Kennedy comes home in second. Looks like we have a season of close racing to look forward to with this car. Heat number two, we'll see Dean Buck and Brad Roning on the front row. Jacob Morgan, Steven Seams on the second. John Brancaccio and Matt Moniak on the third row. John Barry and Richie Joplin round out the field for Heat two. All the drivers rolling off pit road. Pace car will take him around one more time. A lot of fast drivers in this group. Off into turn three, the pace car will hit pit road. Dean Buck, the rookie in control, he fires, green flag is in the air, heat number two. Jacob Morgan quickly clears Brad, running, running, dropping Brad. Oh, Brad Caccio gets loose. He is in the wall quickly. Jacob Morgan already in the battle for the lead. Back behind, everybody's fighting there. Three wide through one. Steven Seams, currently in third, has the Maniac looking up top. Oh! Seams in the wall. Jacob Morgan takes the lead, but Richie Joplin has the fastest lap so far. Seems and Brand Caccio both already to pit road. They'll have to battle their way in in the consolation heat. Richie looking underneath John Barry. Can't quite get there. Dean Buck. Trying to close back up on Jacob Morgan. Jacob now has the fastest lap. Hey, good evening, Scott. Whoa. Richie and John, a little contact there as Richie comes by. John fighting back up top. Uh, three laps to go for Jacob Morgan. He is pulling away from second place. Richie Joplin now in third. John Barry still in his bumper. Richie's starting to close up. We may have a last lap battle for second again, but Jacob is checked, checking out as he gets the white flag one more time around.
Second, third, and fourth. Nose to tail. This could get bumpy through three and four. Jacob Morgan will win heat two. Dean Buck comes home in second. Richie Jomplin in third. Heat number three, we'll see the rookie Sarah Dykes on the front row with Becky Snodgrass, Ed Sr. and Frank Hughes Jr. on the second row, Scott Snodgrass, Vern Spring on the third, Chris Melton and Kirk Marble rounding out the field. The ladies in control of the front row. Looks like Be uh, Sarah Dykes will drop to the tail end. Which will, I believe, move Vern up into uh, the inside front row. We'll see how this pans out. Now it'll be Ed Sr. moving up. Everybody stacked up, ready to go. Pace car is in, here we go. Green flag is in the air, heat number three. And already three wide, Frank Hughes Jr. splits the gap. He and Scott get together. Ed Sr. clears the chaos. Becky clears it. But Becky goes up the track. Vern now to second. Kirk Marble shoots all the gaps. He is up to third. Becky holding on to fourth. Chris Melton now up into fifth. Sarah Dykes moving up to sixth. Scott has recovered in seventh. Frank in eighth as we've got a battle for the lead. And look at this. Vern to the lead. Ed Sr. had a problem. All four. Chris Melton now to third. Looking around trying to find a way past Becky. Vern's lead growing as Chris Melton now to second. Meanwhile at the back, Frank Hughes Jr. has set the fastest lap two laps in a row. Vern Spring, Chris Melton, Becky Snodgrass, your top three. Here comes Scott. Scott Snodgrass now to third, gets by his wife. He'll be sleeping on the couch tonight.
Vern Springs lead still about two and a half seconds over Melton. Huge move for Melton who started in seventh has picked up five spots. Scott Snodgrass after that early incident is already up to third. White flag is in the air for Vern Spring. We knew last season Vern was looking faster and faster. He is going to get it done and win Heat 3. Melton comes home in second. Scott Snodgrass finishes third. And here we go, the feature event for the mini stocks. Donald Minnett and Andrew Thornton on the front row. David Lux, Jacob Morgan on the second. Vern Spring, Cody Kennedy on the third row. Dean Buck, Chris Melton on the fourth. Austin Minnett, Richie Joplin round out your top ten. Scott Snodgrass in 11th. Andrew Jones in 12th. John Barry 13th. Ed Sr. in 14th. Dave Holmberg starting in 15th, Matt Moniak in 16th, Kirk Marble in 17th, Adam Clark starting in 18th, Brad Ronning and Becky Snodgrass round out the top 20. Brian Hewitt starting in 21st, Johnny B in 22nd, Frank Hughes 23rd, Ryan McDaniel in 24th, Steven Seam, Sarah Dukes, and Scott Duncan round out the field. And Duncan does not take the grid. Kevin Gerard saying that uh, Cody Kennedy for the win. I'm not repeating what Ryan said. Take a deep breath, folks. We're about to get 50 laps of non-stop excitement. These cars have proven so far tonight that, man, they can race close. They can run fast, and it, they are definitely exciting. Pace car turns into pit road. Green flag is in the air. The first feature of the new season is underway. And man, these little cars have been super competitive all night long. Have some really fast cars at the back of the pack. It'll be interesting to see who can make their way through the field. Lap one, no issues. But a lot of movement going on in the back, including this three-wide battle. Adam Clark has had a problem. He has already gone to pit road, no caution. We'll take a look here in a minute. All right, they settle back into two wide for a moment. Andrew Thornton just set the fastest lap so far. Let's see what happened with Adam. Coming out of turn four, looks like Adam had technical issues maybe. Uh, something definitely broke on that car. Hopefully he'll make it back out.
David Lutz now in third. Morgan in fourth. Morgan looking low. Lutz went high. Oh, oh, three wide as they come past. Several of the drivers told me before the race, just a little too much power, and these cars will slide up the track. Chris Melton made that hard charge in his heat. He is already up into sixth, just ahead. Richie Joplin up five spots now into fifth. The Maniac up three spots into 13. Kirk Marble up three spots into 14. Frank Hughes had massive problems in his heat. Already up five spots to 18th. Steven Seams up six spots to 19th. And Ryan McDaniel up four spots into 20th. Kevin, hey, that is definitely a possibility. How you doing tonight, buddy? Hey, good evening, Mark. Thank you for the stars, buddy. Mark, as always, cheering on Cody Kennedy and Kirk Marble. Richie Joplin has his hands full. Chris Melton on the move, slides up. Richie crosses up. Oh, hard contact! These cars seem to be able to take a little bit of a beating. Melton's trying to go, holy cow! Things uh, got a little messy there. Keep an eye on Chris Melton. That was the contact at the uh, start-finish line. And they come around a lap. Rookie Sarah Dykes. Oh, Melton gets stuck in the middle. Bangs the car below. Everybody but Sarah manages to recover. Wow. Wow. I will say this is Sarah's first race, so you got to give her credit for just getting out here. Donald Minnett still has the lead. Lap traffic ahead. Thornton in second. Morgan is caught up. Cody Kennedy now caught up as well. Richie Joplin back in fifth trying to reel him in. Scott Snodgrass in six, battling with Austin Minnick. Right behind him. Vern Spring, who won heat number three on the move. But here comes Chris Melton again. Melton already back on the attack. But he's got his hands full. Kirk Marble up seven spots in the tenth right behind. Well, nobody will forget Kirk's name. Uh, it, it's kind of obvious there. Andrew Thornton now looking for the lead. Morgan is there. Cody is there. Thornton takes the lead from Donald Mayo. Oh, big wreck front stretch. Caution. And may have some more problems. Whoa. Okay. So that happened. Let's see. Let's take a look and see what happened here.
Donald Minnett Jr. up on the high, top, high side. Looks like he's banging doors with Jacob. Jacob just pushes up across the nose. Becky Snodgrass back behind. More contact. She gets in to the 11 car. Ethan, be great to have you back on track, buddy. First caution of the night, lap 17. Three-liter four-cylinder 200 horsepower engine could do this much racing and have this much excitement. Oh, good call, Kevin. Andrew Thornton, Richie Joplin, Scott Snodgrass, Austin Minute, Vern Spring, now the top five. Chris Melton, Kirk Marble, John Barry, Frank Hughes, and Matt Moniak, your top ten. Frank Hughes, right now the biggest mover of 14 spots. Lights are out on the pace car. They get ready to go back green flag racing. Pace car is in. Green flag back in the air. Brittany Vanette's cheering on Frank Hughes Jr. And Frank on the move tonight. After the problems he had in the heat, he is already up a bunch of spots and moving forward. Andrew Thornton up front, but Richie Joplin has just about caught him. Scott right there, Austin Minnett right there, and here comes Chris Melton again. Burn Spring battling side by side. Oh, we've got one up in the wall. John Barry gets pushed up. Him and Vern get together. But they straighten out. Vern gets stuck. Caution. Caution back out on lap 25. Ryan McDaniel and Dean Buck also catch a piece of it. Let's take a look. Looking down from the blimp, you see Vern in the middle comes up, a little neck code at play there, and the wreck avoidance back behind. Ryan McDaniel, Dean Buck get together. They see the wreck and try and move low, but connect and, yep, end up getting into Vern and stacking up on the backstretch.
Andrew Thornton, Richie Joplin, Scott Snodgrass, Austin Minnick, Chris Melton, your top five, Kirk Marble, Frank Hughes Jr., Matt Moniak, David Lux, Jacob Morgan, the top ten. Frank Hughes Jr. still the hard charger at the moment of 16 spots into seven. But John Brancaccio now up seven spots into 15th. Brad Ronning up seven spots into 12th. Kirk Marble up 11 spots into 6th. Ethan, you and me both, I really enjoy the 24-hour races too, but this year I'm committed to broadcasting a team, so maybe I'll get to do some next year. Don't forget, folks, this is just the first race of the night. We'll have a short intermission between races. Come back to see all the drivers in the late models here at Nashville. Just as much excitement, probably just as much beating and banging, to be honest, too. Pace car back on pit road. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Oh, we've got a big pile up in one and two. Looks like everybody gets straightened out. And a big pile up into turn three. Caution is back out. Between the two incidents, Jacob Morgan, Scott Snodgrass, John Brancaccio, Cody Kennedy, Ryan McDaniel, Stephen Seams, and Austin Minnett all involved. Keep an eye on Austin Minute in the 24 on the high side as they go off into one and two. Here they are on the restart. Oh, they were snaking. Looks like somebody got a late start. Minute goes for a big roll. They spread out four wide. Ryan McDaniel gets turned up into the wall along with Steven Seams. Seams ends up upside down. Cody Kennedy makes it through that one, but all the wreck avoidance back behind there is the big one into turn three. A lot of drivers nowhere to go. That track just got blocked. Interesting series of events on that one. Yep, Gerald Brancaccio definitely went for a roll there. 
Ethan, if you need help, buddy, let me know. Lights are out. They stack back up. About 15, about 14 to go when the green flag drops. Things really starting to heat up here in Nashville. Pace car is in. Green flag back in the air. Side by side into turn one, but most of the excitement has been mid-pack. Nothing big happens through one and two that time. But the battle up front, Richie trying to make the outside line work. Ryan McDaniel has come to Pitt Road unexpectedly. Hey, good evening, Edmund. See you soon. Steven Seams also back on Pitt Road after that incident. Ryan back out. Richie Joplin takes the lead. Andrew still right on his bumper, and the Maniac lurks right behind, but look, the rookie, Frank Hughes, now in fourth. Frank Hughes has been putting on one heck of a show tonight, already up 19 spots, the biggest mover of the night. But can he get past the Maniac? Richie Joplin still holds the lead. Chris Melton is starting to make some moves back toward the front, now back up into fifth. And running down, Frank Hughes, John Barry, right behind Melton. John Brancaccio on the move as well. Johnny B now up into 11. Richie Joplin cannot get away from the cars behind, about a car length be between the top three, a couple car lengths between three and four. As we've got a three wide battle back behind, Kirk Marble trying to fight his way back into the top ten. John Brancaccio slipped his way up into ninth place and is closing the gap on David Lux. Five laps to go for Richie Joplin. Can he hold on? Steven Seams back off pit road, back on track. Jacob Morgan having a problem back behind. Four to go. Richie has a little breathing room between him and Thornton. Moniac back in third. Lamp traffic may come into play. The lamp cars ahead are all damaged.
But down the back straightaway, into three and four, Richie continues to lead. And here we go, two laps to go for Richie Joplin. If Andrew Thornton has anything left, he's got to send him now. Through turns three and four. White flag is in the air one more time around. Richie Joplin, who started back in 10th, marched his way through all the chaos. And in the three and four, one last time, the lap traffic will not matter. Richie Joplin gets the win to start the season. Andrew Thornton comes home in second. Matt Moniak finishes third. And let's see if we can talk to our top three, starting with Moniak. Don't forget, folks, we still have late models to go. More racing to come in just a few minutes. Matt, you pull off third, but uh, your new nickname is never satisfied, so are you happy? Well, definitely not. It's a great way to start the season, man. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> well, great job tonight, buddy. Andrew Thornton comes home in second. Andrew, you almost had it, but Richie just had a little bit more. Yeah, that he got a really good jump at last restart and was able to uh, pinch me down so I couldn't arc the corners and burnt the right front tire off. And about the time it started coming back, we were running about the same you know, lap times. So wasn't a whole lot I could do except watch him sit right there about five cars ahead of me for ten laps. <laughs> Well, you still managed to come home in second place. A great way to start the season, man. Uh, great job tonight. Yeah, man. It, it's always a good time to come to Nashville. It doesn't matter what we're racing. It's always always a bunch of fun. It was really good to have uh, you know Sarah come out and try this with us and uh, not get wrecked by Matt. And then, you know, if I have to finish second to anybody, you know, you've got to let the grumpy old guy win something every once in a while, right? <laughs> well, that is true. So why am I not winning anything? Well, because you get paid the big bucks to sit up there in the skybox oh, and tell us how good I it is. See, I see. Yeah, the big bucks. Well, great job tonight, buddy. Congratulations. Thanks, Doug. And finally, our winner, Richie Joplin. Richie, uh, first race of the season. Man, you made the pass when it counted and kept them all behind you after that. Yeah, I don't know if they burnt their tires up or what. It just took me a little while to get up there fighting with everybody. I mean, I had a lot of good guys I was racing with. I mean, some I don't even know. They're new guys. Uh, had a lot of fun. I mean, I like these cars. They do seem to be a lot of fun. And you, I saw as you came through traffic and as others came through traffic, they can take a bit of a beating without going around. Yeah, uh, I mean, like uh, me and uh, what was that, the truck car number 49, I mean, him was doing pretty good battling. We was rubbing and stuff. I done a little crossover move. Everybody made it through it. No no big deal. I hope I didn't make you mad doing that, but uh, it was just a lot of fun racing. You can actually push a little bit, door bang, and, and the car will take it, and everybody stays straight. Well, man, it was a great job. Great to see you back in Victory Lane, buddy. Congratulations.
I think we might have lost Richie there at the end. Uh, all right, guys, we're going to take a quick intermission, but don't go anywhere. We're going to be back with late models here in Nashville in just a few moments. Folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 